Sunny Monani 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 Sunny moon, sunny moon, sunny moon, sunny moon. Let's sing our song to open up our cauldron. Since they're calling me witches and stuff like this, I might as well do the real magic. We're going to do some real damn magic. Let's do the magic. Spiritual magic. There's no such thing as magic in this world. There is no such thing as magic in this world. Well, actually, there is something called magic. It's real. Um, some people use this stuff. Uh, it's real. Some people use this stuff for... They use their free will to understand magic so that they can colonize, manipulate control people for money sex and all sorts of mad ideas when people could just self-actualize what a novel idea self-actualization what it's a novel idea so that's why i wake up in the morning and i say oh sunny morning sunny Sunny Bonani. Who am I saying Sunny Bonani to? My ancient masters that I walk with, that teach me, that help me, that inspire me to raise my consciousness, raise my consciousness. You don't have to sing for people. You can sing for yourself, for the shower. I sing to the sun every single day and I sing to the trees and the birds. Most mornings, the trees and the birds are singing, but the trees are just swaying. Four o'clock in the morning, the insects start. The birds come out at like 5.30. I know the time. For, I know the time now. Three to seven. There's even different music. It's quite interesting. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. The, the music is so interesting. It's like four o'clock, there's different insects. 5.30, there's different ones that go off. Hey, six o'clock, the birds are starting to say, I'm not team the celestial music celestial music okay <laughs> celestial music okay so today we are going to forgive i have a list we are on day nine day nine sunny one on day nine okay so today i want us to forgive Whoever in your family, your friend group, your work group, church. I have nothing against church people, okay? What I would love for us to do, since we're done forgiving God, we can just start like working on them real, real things now. Them real, real things. Okay. So how about we forgive the person who made you realize that this thing called spirituality or religion, there's some kind of flaws to this. Some kind of flaws to this. I was speaking to my girlfriend and my girlfriend was telling me that in Austria, actually it's the whole of Europe, yeah, Western Europe, you literally have to pay your way out of church. So they, they have a system where they know how much you, like they look at your paycheck, you know, like in America, it's called social security. They take a, a portion of your income for social security. Every country has this, like they take taxes, social security, this and this and this. In Europe, Western Europe, they have a system like this and they take your tithes out of your paycheck.
You say what now? You say what now? No, no, they take your tithes out of your paycheck. You don't actually have a choice. I was speaking to one of my um, Swiss clients and he was like, no, Timby, I do not want to tithe. Tithing is an awful experience. And I'm like, why would you not want to tithe? Like sharing what you have with others is such a beautiful spiritual practice. It teaches you that there is more than enough. So you can give from abundance we come in abundance we remain. And if I know that in abundance I remain, I can give to another person. I can tithe to this and give to that. And, and it doesn't affect me because my consciousness knows that from abundance I come and abundance I remain. So even if I give to you, you steal from me, you lie, whatever the hell you want to do. From abundance I come and abundance I remain. And it just keeps on getting better and better and better. Okay, so you have no time for ignorance. You have no time for these people who are latching on, leeching, levers and lies. You know, you got no time for this rubbish. It's so low. Who cares? No time. Okay, but in the process of actually realizing that, oh no, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Boundaries, 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 boundaries. You came up to an experience where if you're like my European clients or friends, um you're having an experience where they are taking from you they were she was telling me that if you want to get out of the church you must pay i said i must pay the church to get out so that they can stop taking my money yeah you just automatically signed on to this the first you when you start working they just take money so i don't know maybe if you are making a million dollars a month they're going to take the ten percent hundred thousand dollars you don't even get to see it i think this is how it works but like most of my European clients complain about this stuff. And I couldn't understand why they didn't want to tithe. How I don't, I wouldn't want to tithe. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm making a million dollars to $10 million a month and you just automatically take my money out of my paycheck? I don't damn think so. No. And then if you want to get out of the church in Europe, you got to pay. Like you gotta, like, I couldn't understand what my clients were talking about until one of my girlfriends was explaining it to me. I was like, oh, I feel so bad for judging my clients. <laughs> I didn't judge them. I just walked, walked them through this thing of abundance and tithing and how we could, do not tithe to demonic places. Stop tithing to these places. They're not going anywhere. You're just wasting your money. It's a bad investment. You can still tithe by supporting organizations that you actually see are actually making an impact on planet earth you can still give of your money to i don't know refugees that are just stranded and they really need that helping hand at that moment but if they repay you whatever if they don't repay you, whatever doesn't matter you just give and you give and it's like whatever done from abundance i come and abundance i remain Okay, so you don't really care about the giving, but like when there is a trauma around money and religion, oh wow. It has some real effects on you and on your psyche. So today I would like for us to give forgive people, family members, friends, colleagues, I don't know who, who, who has made you realize, damn man, this religion thing is kind of something. It tells me that I'm a sinner, I'm bad, I'm going to hell, God hates itself as me, I need to do this, this and this, pray, Holy Marys, Holy Marys, what is it, Hail Marys? Yeah, I used to go to Catholic Church in high school. <laughs> I've been to them all. Uh, yeah, I only lasted in Catholic Church High School. I was, I was in boarding school, so you had to go to church on Sunday. You didn't have a choice. So it was either you were going to Hillsong, Hillsong, Hillsong in Bramfontein. This is where all these children in South Africa are going. Hillsong, where they get raped. They get raped in Hillsong. And all of these fancy churches, mega churches. Hi, we got God. We got God. We got God. We got Jesus. And then you put your tithes there. Okay. Whatever it is. Or whether you went to, I don't know, a mosque, a synagogue, a temple. I don't know. Let's forgive somebody who 
actually made us realize that this thing is something. Because we're always holding on to the anger, whether it's a preacher, a pastor, a family member, a sibling, a friend, or whatever, that might have said something that actually made you realize this is a shit show. Okay. Forgive these people. For me, it was going to constantly these churches where the preachers and the pastors and the fake mystics and the fake shamans are constantly asking for money. They are begging for money. They are willing to shame you, have sex with you, blackmail you, tell stories. Okay, I need to tell the story. I need to tell it. Quick, quick. Okay, I'm going to be done. But the cult that I was involved in with LA, yes, it's from West Africa. The person that runs it is from West Africa. But the woman who runs it and recruits other women into this rubbish has a master's degree in screenwriting. A master's degree in screenwriting. I said, this is a really scary experience. Because she can tell stories. She, I, I was like, one day I was talking to her and I was asking her, because I love to do my investigative journalism, I understand the mind. I get the stuff I've been studying for a long time. So I wanted, I started asking her and I said to her, oh, what shows are you watching at the moment? Oh, beloved, I've been drinking my blood. I'm watching Greenleaf. It's one of uh, Oprah's shows, which was highlighting the sexual abuse that was happening in these churches that people were not willing to speak about. Aha. Uh -huh. It was a great soap opera. It was a great, it was a series soap opera. I watched like maybe like eight episodes of that. And I said, oh, these are the things that have been happening in South Africa. And nobody wants to talk about it in Africa because mental health issues. Like if you say you're crazy, and if you say you're depressed, you say you're anxious. And, oh, she's crazy. She's crazy. Mental health issues. The spirits have got her. That she's done something wrong. The demons have gotten her. She's opened the doors to these demons. So this woman tells me that she's watching Greenleaf. I said, hmm. Let me go look at what this Greenleaf is. Well, yes, um. I see we're free on the second Tuesday and the fourth. Get off the phone. Her. Now. Can you hold on for a moment? What is it? What is it? Yes, what is it? I'm busy. You had an affair with my sister. Uh, and even you don't wow. deny that it happened at least once after we were married, James. And I have a feeling that it happened far more often than that. You have given me no real clarity about this relationship with this Miss Cross. And I have every reason to believe that you were at the Biltmore Hotel when your granddaughter was lost to the world. And now, you've shared the only secret that I have. A sin I committed only because you had broken my heart so completely. So what kind of fool would I be to stay married to you now? The minute we get this check from Clara and this IRS things all cleared up, I am divorcing your black ass. And James, don't keep your call on hold. I watched Greenleaf, I realized, oh my God, this woman is in a story. She's trying to be Greenleaf's wife because it's it's about a pastor who lives in this big house, who's like rich and lives with all of his children. They all, it's like an Indian family. They all living Mama Patal, Papa Patal, Baby Patal, everybody Patal. I love Indian people. I love the food, the dance. Oh, King Kali Kali Ma. Krim Kalima's my mother child. She's my real spiritual mother. Okay? Segment number one. But, um, yeah, they all live together. 
in this house and their secrets are always in the house and there's this one woman who oprah plays that woman who slept with the pasta the wife's pasta very angry woman very very angry woman in the show they didn't show her drinking beers at 11 o'clock in the morning gossiping about her but she did gossip a lot in church people gossip a lot they gossip a lot this woman in LA recruiting people into this cult has a master's degree in screenwriting. She loves soap operas. And she's watching Greenleaf. I say ding 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 story. She's not gonna tell the story. In the story, there is a young girl who did not work on Wall Street. She worked as a forex trader for some kind of company or something like this. And she was trying to seduce this man, the, the pastor and the creature. But she had a vendetta, a daddy vendetta against this man. I said, oh my God. This woman sits at home watching this stuff, drinking her wine. I'm getting my wine on, beloved. <laughs> watching green leaf. I said, oh. She's going to start telling this story about me. Yes. Watch Greenleaf, you will see. Watch Greenleaf, you will see. Okay, watch Greenleaf. Just watch it on YouTube, you will see. It's about the abuses that are happening in these churches, the sex that is happening in these churches, these uh, mystic, fake, mystic, fake pastors, fake preachers sleeping with the right hand PA, you know, sleeping with the PA, sleeping with other people in the churches. When somebody comes in to try to help them and say, oh my goodness, we can help, let's take this, let's work. I wasn't even trying to take the check. I, I was on a bigger mission. War. Economic recession. Collapsing of economies. Sinking of African continent. I was not there for church. I was sent on a higher mission. But you see, here's the problem with gossipers. Gossipers will tell a story that will start a war because they are so mindless. They are so mindless. Green leaf. Thank you, Mama Oprah. Thank you, Mama Oprah. Green leaf. Well, beloved, I'm gonna get my wine. Sandy now go watch me some green life. She's living that drama. She has snared this man into living this drama with her because this man loves Hollywood. I won't be a Hollywood baby star. They're gonna put you in a soap opera. You will be responsible for billions of souls. Billions of souls going to war. And hell rooms. So forgive the people who made you wake up. What? They hurt my feelings. They did this. They said this. Okay, forgive them. They helped you wake up. If I hadn't asked this woman this question, oh, what do you watch? I'm an investigative journalist. Even though, yes, psychology, Wall Street, all of these things. First and first, I'm an investigative journalist. Don't be fooled by the British accent. So, I'm asking homegirl, if I hadn't asked homegirl, what are you watching? I would have not known what soap opera story they were going to create a smear campaign on me on. Master's degree in script writing. Couldn't solve actualize. So when you can't self-actualize, you have to start writing stories that are lies because your life is a living nightmare. Nightmare, drinking them wines in the studio apartment. Well, beloved, I'll be watching some green late with the wigs that are like this. You think I haven't been mad at this? But when these things come up, they are triggering a past pain, of course, that you've experienced. You can experience these things unless you've probably experienced them in a past lifetime, parallel lifetimes, growing up at home, whatever. You don't know, you know, you don't know. But when you experience these things, 
and you can see that that person or this group of people were the catalyst to you getting out of hell. <laughs> blessings, forgiveness and blessings. Forgiveness and blessings. What a beautiful soul to be willing to stoop so low. So low. Oh, what a beautiful spiritual teacher. To be willing to stoop so low and your whole consciousness is so upright, Ram. And you realize these people call themselves reverend so and so, fake mystique so and so. Hallelujah, I'm a minister of God so and so. And then they go and gossip, drink their beers and lie. Break up families. Take somebody's husband who has children. And don't see anything wrong with this. Break up families, children involved. I'm licensed minister, licensed family and marriage therapist. That to me was the end of ignorance. Honestly, it was the end of ignorance. I was so angry, so angry. But then I started to realize this is unequivocally the nature of humans. So let us forgive those that helped us wake up. Three years of forgiving this. Three years. The more I forgave, the more memories I had of these relational aggressions, especially with women who are jealous, gossipers, borderlines, trap men with sex to manipulate their mind. But like, how weak are these men? This is my question. This is my question. Best chakra problems. These first chakra problems destroy people's lives. These first chakra problems cause war because these women are so mindless. They don't understand what they are speaking and the gossip that they are speaking will create a war, economic recessions that countries will never be able to come out of. And spineless men are responsible for this. We must hold people responsible. But you need to get yourself out of that. You need to get yourself out of that. Oh, this stuff. You are no leader if you are not willing to look at this stuff. You are no leader. You must. One of the laws of Ma'at that I actually want to talk about right now is the law of if you see something, you must speak on it. Because if it's wrong, you must speak on it. Do you think I like this? No, you could be killed. Death is not a real thing. Not a real thing. I'm here. They've tried. Doesn't work. It's not a real thing. And even if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I'll be back redoing this thing. I will haunt you at night. I will be a bee. Just all day long. I promise you this, you will not be able to sleep in my world. <laughs> okay, when I go into these things, time for radical forgiveness. More of it. Because these people were not the only people that you've experienced this with. And maybe you have been a part of these things too. You, you don't even remember what you were doing in high school. You don't even remember what you were doing in kindergarten. Maybe in kindergarten, you pushed somebody and you had a group of friends and you ganged up against somebody. I remember doing that. It was one week and it was this new girl that had just come to school and she used to pee her pants. And I, I was like, and the group of girls that I was friends with, they were like, oh, she pees her pants. And I was like, girl, you need to, I've always had this good heart. I went up to this girl and I was like, you need to like change and maybe not pee your pants because people don't want to be your friends, you smell. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that because these girls that I was with as friends they went hard on this girl how dare you tell her that we told her now we're going to punish her we're going to show her what's real and was I not ostracized out of that group that friendship group of these nasty women I was only 7 years old 8 years old when these things were happening 
But the more forgiveness work I do, the more I even remember what I was doing when I was six, five years old. And some of those things I didn't know. I was a dumb five-year-old or a dumb seven-year-old. And I was part of a group that harassed this little girl. And yeah, it was a week, but I thought about it. And I said, my God, I experienced so much hell in this lifetime. Maybe because I wasn't kind enough to that little girl. We all do these strange, stupid things. We all do them. And when they come back as our karma, as our experiences, we want to be like, they hurt my feelings. But maybe you did it at five years old and you forgot. Maybe you did it at 17 years old, at 15 years old, and you totally forgot. That's why these people are terrorizing you right now. So forgive, collapse the energy, collapse, collapse, collapse the energy. And even if you didn't do anything wrong, even if you did not do anything wrong, and it's just craziness, it's probably a past lifetime parallel lifetime you don't know the forgiveness work helps you it helps you untangle yourself from these energies can you imagine i was six years old and i had no idea what i was doing all i did was trying to protect this girl hey girl don't pee your pants kindergarten preschool preschool don't pee your pants and then i went and told these girls i told her don't pee your pants did they these nasty nasties come after me uh-huh and they came after that girl I learned at that point, oh, there's some vile women out here on the streets. We are vile. We always like to talk about the vile men, the Me Too men. No, we need to start talking about the vile woman. These women are scary. These women are scary. So for me, in this experience, I am going to forgive master's degree, with her script writing of lies and green, green leaf and all her soap operas that she watches and her daddy never loved me rooms and all sorts of this ignorance. I'm going to forgive this. Why? Because I'm probably releasing a past lifetime experience where I was with people like this and it just, I never was able to get over it. In this lifetime, I have the fucking courage. Okay, I just make up these songs as I go along. <laughs> just make them up. In this lifetime, I have the capacity, I have the strength, I have the power, I have the will. Don't be fooled by British accent. I can sit in the hell and sing. Gotta work on this. Clearly it's showing up because maybe a past lifetime, maybe I did something and I forgot that I did it and now it's showing up as my karma. Gotta work on this, gotta work on this, gotta work on this, gotta work on this, gotta work on this. The more I'm willing to look at myself and say these things and say, oops, gotta work on this, gotta work on this, gotta work on this, gotta work on this, life is becoming better and better. Oh, much better, so much better. I no longer have to deal with this ignorance. I no longer will ever allow this sort of ignorance. I don't care if it's black, white, Mexican, Indian, Asian, whatever. This drama does not belong in my world. Soap opera drama? What for? They're writing soap operas all day long, a miserable, sad experience. Why would I want to entertain that? Find your thing, get real angry about it and tell the truth without shame. Don't let them shame you. Don't let them make you tell you you're crazy. If they call you a prostitute, they call you a witch, they call you all sorts of names. Yes, I prostate at the feet of divinity, not ignorance. Oh yes, I am a witch. My prayers are answered. How about your miserable life? Forgiveness work. Do your forgiveness work. Do your forgiveness work. Get out of people's dramas. Get out of people's stories. Get out of people's stuff. Do your forgiveness work. Okay, so let's close it off with a little bit of meta. We're going to do meta for, for me, for, for you. We need to speak these truths. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. We need to speak these truths, especially in the black community. Not even just the African community, the black community. Mental health is not seen as a thing. They shame you for mental health. They tell you that you've got demon spirits and stuff like that. Yeah, some of these people send you these demons and spirits. And the, who cares who knows, who knows who these people are? Who cares? 
But these are the truths. In the black community, mental health is not spoken about. In the black community, witchcraft is not spoken about. Oh no, don't touch, don't touch that stuff. Don't look at it. No, these are the same people that are sending you these things, these spirits that are making you crazy, making you want to commit suicide, making you all sorts of things because they function at very low levels of human consciousness. You've got to rise. You've got to rise. They are living in jealousy. They're living in ignorance. They are living in demonic realms. They are being used by demons. It has helped to, to being attacked. Goodness work. Even if you're living with this level of demon, when you practice this work, they demons can touch you. And then you will know when to kick them out of your house. Get out. Get out with your demons. Get out. You will be able to get them out of your life. Get out. For Kevin's work, it makes you real strong. It makes you real strong. Okay, so let's close off with Meta. Thumbs up. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be liberated from all ignorance. May I be liberated from all suffering. May all beings be happy. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be liberated from all ignorance. May all beings be liberated from all suffering. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy. Tagaza. 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 Tagaza means be happy in Zulu. Tagaza. Mm -hmm. So what is your assignment? Teacher Tembi, Teacher Tembi say, what's your side? homework assignment? Forgive those that helped you have an awakening experience. This is only for visionaries. If you're still asleep, I don't know what to tell you. If you're still asleep, forgive those that shamed you in spirituality, shamed you at work, gossiped about you, created a smear campaign on you, uh, lied about you. These are six souls. There's nothing you can do with them. They're very low. So low. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. For they now know what they do. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. Free yourself. Free yourself. Forgive them. Free yourself. Goodbye and God bless. Talk to you later. When you start with Ubuntu, you're already a visionary leader of tomorrow. We've created a global platform to connect the world's most disruptive geniuses, to shatter stereotypes, master collaboration, and lead like visionaries. In this app, Future Gen Leaders creates exclusive digital magazines, specialized transformational programs, and content exclusives. Now available on every device, for everyone, anytime. How will you create a bold tomorrow?